My dog, Chris yes, Broussard. Otto, coming to you first. Would Dane's Blazers be a problem for the Lakers? Absolutely, bro. The Blazers, what we've seen from them boys is they are literally the antithesis of the Lakers. Like, everything the Lakers are not, the Blazers are. Ooh, Blazers, when every- you talk about how they are number one right now in offensive rating, Lakers, last. Blazers, number two in three-point percentage. Lakers, what, last. So, mm. everything that the Blazers are doing and are doing well, the Lakers are not. Blazers trending upward. Lakers are just sputtering, trying to survive. You know, I listen to some other dudes that I really respect. We got my guy, um, Nick Wright. He posed the question, you know, who's going to guard LeBron James? Bruh, who's going to guard C.J. McCollum? Who's going to guard Dame? Who's going to guard Gary Trent Jr.? The Blazers have a ton of questions, and the Lakers will not have any answers. So I think that they are going to be a problem. But if nothing else, even if the Lakers do get by the Blazers, which I do think they will, it's just going to take a lot more work, Bron Bron ain't going to have that same rest. And the goal and the objective for the Lakers ain't to beat the eight seed. The goal and the objective is to make it to and win the finals. So even if they can scurry past the Blazers, it's going to take them entirely too much effort, entirely too much work. And I do think that the Blazers pose a huge, huge problem for them Lakers, man. (laughs) Can I go? Yes, please go. (laughs) Balance this out. Emmanuel, you sound like a football player talking basketball. (laughs) How? How? Watch the tape. the Blazers, I'll give you, they'll go six. That's they'll what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. A good fight. Dame, Dame will have three, four good games, which will get them great games, which will get them two victories. But Nick Wright is on the money. Who they got to stop LeBron? And stopping CJ and Dame is not the same as stopping LeBron James. There is such a thing as playoff LeBron. This mm. late season swoon by the Lakers is, is really guys. familiar for a lot of LeBron James teams. In 2017 in Cleveland, they finished the last two months 11 and 15, turn it on in the playoffs, get to the finals. 2016, they finished 10 and 7, turn it on in the playoffs, win the finals. So this isn't unusual. LeBron will come out stoked for the playoffs, and they can't stop him. But beyond that, they can't stop Anthony Davis. See, the the Blazers' perimeter defense is poor, and that's their problem. Look, you're right that their shooting is going to give the Lakers some problems because they don't guard the perimeter well either, but there is no way Dame is going to beat LeBron and Anthony Davis. CJ will be inconsistent. Gary Trent Jr. will probably not play that well in the spotlight of the playoffs his first round. So this, really? you know, they're going out. Where'd that come See, from? See, Broussard, here, here's what I learned, Marcellus. Here's what I learned about Whoa. these so-called basketball guys. Oh, okay. Here's what I learned. Get them. See, the, the, you're one of those football guys. It's such a lazy take. Lazy. It's an easy out to try to defeat facts. See, there's being a football guy, but then there's just being an intelligent human being. Oh! And all it is, CB, is I'm looking at the real stats and the real facts of the matter. What I learned, bro, I spent way too much time in the casinos. Bro, I spent way too much time in my playing days. And I learned you can't bet against the wave. And what you're trying to do right now is bet against the wave. Ah, well, sooner or later, <laughs> Dame is going to break. Ah, well, LeBron is, he's a playoff guy. You know, LeBron is a, I do think LeBron is a playoff guy. But I also think that the Blazers pose real threats. I'm not saying the Blazers are going to beat them. But the question was, should the Lakers be nervous? Them boys you, should definitely go Chris, be nervous. Go, Chris. Ooh. You're putting too much stock in the bubble. So I guess Phoenix no. is one of the best See, teams in this the is league. Our I, just, I guess T.J. Warren is this like is, an all-star is, now. Like, but here's my thing. Who's the star? bubble is the Bruce strangest star. place. Do we care about what happened in November of 2019 or what happened August 11th of 2020? Yeah. Like, I just don't care what yeah. the record was on Christmas Day last year. Yeah. That feels like 10 years ago. Yeah. So it's not a matter of putting stock in the bubble. It's just, I am what have you done for me lately, not what have you done for me. Dame is averaging 37 points a game in the mm. bubble mm. compared to his 28 points a game outside the bubble. That 37 has to weigh more than that 28. The fact that Danny Green can't even find the rim has to mean more than what he did in the NBA Finals back in 2013. It has to. Make it make, hey, that make sense. Hey, save me some of them ribs, homie. Let me get some of this, too. Let me jump up in here right now because y'all know I'm the full screen king. So let me just start. Uh. Let me just set the tone with my full screen. Um, you, I want to talk about the bubble because that's where they're going to play the playoffs. No home court advantage. Poor LeBron and them went out there and fought for home court. It doesn't even matter. And that's what I'm seeing right now in comparison to the two teams in the bubble. I don't see one category in which the Lakers are better. Not one category, even though they have 
arguably the best duo in the NBA. Not one category you better than this team. So that is called a wave coming at you when you talk about the Portland Trailblazers. Then you'd start talking about double-digit scores. And I love how you just went and said Trent Jr. is not going to play well under the bright lights. But Kyle Kuzma is? Oh, how many playoff minutes Kyle Kuzma got? Don't do it to him. Donut. So, so easy you're, you're talking about se- the league. Kuzma's been in the league. Yeah, but this is, this is this is essentially his first go round. We've already seen it. The, how did he do last night? Now that all of a sudden he's that on the That happened market, twice. That wasn't the first Gary time. Trent, Gary Trent Jr. Uh oh. And then he he lays an egg. Come on, I'm. He's played you. in bigger games at Duke than and Kuzma has in the NBA. Hello, let's keep going. Stop. Seven double-digit Stop. scores on the Portland Trail Blazers versus only four on the Lakers, and one of them is Kuzma. So we don't even know if he's gonna count. Anyway, let's talk about old school. Sometimes football, basketball guy, we can get caught up in name calling and lose all of the real material What's here. The real, Marcel? the real is. What's the real? Let's go to the sand lot. Let's play a little pickup game, and I'm gonna have <laughs> you to pick between Lillard, McCullum, Carl. Carmelo, Nurkic, Whiteside, and Trent Jr. And you sitting over there with LeBron, AD, Waiters, Kuzma, KCP. What are y'all going to do? Forget titles. Forget accolades. Forget what you used to you do. You can't. You, why can't we? Because this is what's coming. They're going to meet in this moment. They're not going to meet in the past. Bruce, are you living in the past right now, Bruce? Well, the, you living in the past? The, first of all, first of all let, let your Blazers get there first. It's because I'm stuff. not, look. I'm not convinced they're getting there. I, I'm picking them to get there to the eighth seed, but beating Memphis two times straight is not going to be easy. And I really hope it's Portland and Phoenix because I want to see Dame versus Book. And I'm picking Portland to get there, but y'all tripping. Six games. Six, Six games? games? It sounds like Marcel is you picking. Go ahead and say it with your chest. You picking the uh, Trailblazers in three, and I know it takes four. 